This is the former British royal family, and the older sister is all about power, while her sister Mary is pure and innocent. Many things happened to these two sisters in the British royal family. One gave birth to a prince and was expelled from the palace. The other became queen but died by guillotine. The differences in their personalities sealed their fate. In the early 16th century, Queen Catherine gave birth to another stillborn child. This was the third son he had lost. This was a great disappointment to King Henry. Another heir died. The queen was too old to bear any more children. The ministers in the palace were ambitious. They all understood the king's intentions and wanted to take the opportunity to offer their daughters to gain power. The Duke of Norfolk, who was closest to the king, immediately thought of his niece Anne. He wanted Anne to marry the king so that he could gain power. His face grew into a smile as she listened to her uncle's words. If she could win the king's favor, the Boleyn family would be honored. Her own life would be smooth. Such a thing was a great temptation for Anne. The king is out hunting and staying overnight at Boleyn's house. The whole family is on standby and dresses up extra nice. The king passes by her and is charmed by her and sits next to the king at the banquet and serves him. She also tries to get the king's attention. She thought she had everything under control. But then next day, while hunting, and ran into a deep valley after a deer to show her ability. She herself was safe and sound, but the king followed him in and was injured when he fell off his horse. This not only shattered the king's pride, it also made him lose interest in Anne. The duke reacted quickly. He immediately called for Anne's sister Mary to bring her to him. Mary took good care of the king. When the king woke up, he fell in love with her at first sight. Mary's simple and shy look made the king feel special. Mary kept a low profile in the family. She never competed with her sister and always had a kind heart. She had recently married someone, so she never wanted to be involved with the king in the first place. Even when he knew Mary was married, the king still wanted her in his court. He said he wanted Mary to be a lady in waiting to the queen. But in fact, he wanted her to be the king's mistress. Mary's heart was very resistant, but she was powerless in the face of the supremacy. Her sister was furious with him, and sowed the seeds of resentment. The wife shares in front of her husband that she had sex with someone else last night. The husband doesn't say a word because it was the king who shared his wife's bed. Mary served with all her heart and soul. She wants her family to be valued by the king. But Anne was always a worry to her. Anne, who wants to marry into a rich family, meets the son of a duke at a ball. She is married in front of a priest, but the duke's son had been given in marriage by the king. Anne's actions will lead to her own disaster. Mary realizes the seriousness of the problem and immediately tells her parents. The duke's son was afraid. He leaves him behind and leaves. Anne was scolded and banished to France to serve as the queen's maid of honor and blames Mary for all this. The relationship between the sisters is completely broken. Soon after, Mary became pregnant. The king favors her even more. The Boleyn family's status rose to the top. But at this time, Mary was very weak. The king asked her to stay in peace. The room where she was isolated was very dark. Mary was kept like a prisoner. Not only was she not allowed to serve the king during this time, she was also not allowed to go outside. The Boleyn family feared that the king would find another woman. So they called and back. It was no longer the unruly girl. She had learned it a lot from the French noblewomen. She maintained her elegance in front of everyone. The men were impressed by her words and actions. The king in particular was impressed and interested in her. The king focused all his attention on Anne. He sent gifts and came to court her and amplifies her charms to no end. She makes a point of reminding the king that he chose Mary over himself. This time she takes the initiative and rejects him. The king's desire to conquer is instantly aroused. He agrees to all of Anne's demands and makes a clean break with Mary. Soon after, Mary gave birth to a son, but the king didn't even look at him and left. The woman trembled and took off her hood and untied her scarf. She took off her pearl necklace to reveal the white stems of her neck. The next moment, she was the first queen of England to be executed. Since Anne had with the king, he had driven Mary away, and she tried to get the king and queen to divorce. This is no small matter. Queen Catherine had a very high reputation, and the king needs the Pope's permission to divorce. Because the queen's nephew was the king of Spain, the pope didn't dare to offend him, so he rejected the king's request. Before the divorce was over, the king was overwhelmed by public opinion. In his anger, he took out all his anger on Anne. He forcibly had sex with Anne. Soon after, the king broke with the Roman Catholic Church. He founded the Protestant Church and took over the reins of power. And Anne became queen as she wished, but the people called her a witch. The king's affection for her was close to zero. His only goal was to have an heir. 
but Anne was not lucky. The first child was a daughter. This made the king irritable, so much so that he started to find various mistresses again and tried to strengthen her position. She tried every possible way to get pregnant with the king's child. However, her second child was miscarried in her sleep. She was afraid to tell the king and even tried to conceive a child with someone else instead. When her plan was carried out with another man, she was discovered. The servant immediately complained to the king. Mary had broken up with Anne, but she still rushed to the king to plead for his life. She wanted the king to give Anne a chance to live. The king saw that Mary had kept her pure. He had a soft heart and agreed to Mary's request. But just as Anne was about to be executed, instead of a letter of pardon from the king, Mary received a letter of warning. The king warned Mary never to appear here again, and Anne died a horrible death on the guillotine. The film is based on history. In those aristocratic times, political marriages were ubiquitous. People did not seem to pursue true love. The court was always filled with the pursuit of power. People with powerful ambitions always ended up in misery. The movies were full of stars who showed their acting skills. We watch a movie in our spare time and learn a little bit about history. This is the charm of the movie.